Look, 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 look here. Your boy Jeezy and Gucci Clone Man is back in the headlines. And they had a little show called The Versus. And on The Versus, your boy Gucci Man was on stage getting mad at young Jeezy Pop. And he started coming out dissing his dead homies, telling him, talking about, we smoking Pookie Loke tonight. You send three more, I send them in a box. All kind of stuff. And when I think about this, I said, dang. Ain't Gucci clone man supposed to be a real replacement robot? I guess they restored the memory inside the robot's head. Just to remember the past beef. Because we all know that young Jizzaboop, the one that throw that little hit, on Gucci man years ago the real Gucci and the hit was from one of Jizzy Boo homeboys Piccolo what could I call him Pokeloo don't know his name but anyways Pokeloo Piccolo attempted to go find Gucci man and give him the sauce with the Nina Trey and take his chain. But it all didn't end well for Pookie Man. As Gucci Nick, Scrone Nick, Long Nick pulled that boy behind a school, man, and left the remains there to rot. <laughs> and so it all came up in the verses. And Gucci was straight dissing. He was like, you send Mo, you send some Mo, I send them right back to you in a box. And the clone remember it. So like I said, look at Gucci's neck, man. Do you really think that's a regular neck? Just look at the size of his neck. It's very frail and skinny. Like turkey size neck. A man neck shouldn't be this skinny and look like that a man's teeth shouldn't be like headlights look at the look at the beard man this man is extremely skinny man and y'all think this the gucci man man this man look like a cancer patient bro and I'm not knocking, you know, I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not even ranking on them, man. You know, I'm not ranking on these two, these two boys, man. But it is what it is, man. And Gucci, Gucci Pot, this young jizzle boot, big time, man. In front of the whole world. And Jeezy didn't do nothing. And I'm, I'm thinking, like, Jeezy, no. That this probably is a robot and he just like you know what I ain't worried about him. What 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 why would I do anything to this guy for? He already gone anyway, so but just say that if this guy was real, man, Jizzy would have put them. Man, he would have had a goons after this guy. He already know this dude bleeding artificial artificial Pyrex, man. Come on, man. But what y'all think about this versus man? Why Jizzy didn't do anything? And do he know that this is a creator robot? Let me know. Nah. What kind of horse crap are these two washed up jokers doing? You have one old man named Jeezy Boo with fragile bones. And you have one long turkey neck clone who looks like the second coming of a walking mummy. Both are their music is complete garbage. And that's the reason Jeezy Boo didn't pop long clone neck Gucci with the Nina Thray, because he's already dead. All that old garbage music playing on out through the show. Wow. One clone and a McDonald's fat belly man still beefing. This is the world we live in. And it's all garbage. And on a ruthless note, when these two old dusty washed up sellouts spends their last days on this earth, 
they will be with their Lord. Pop Belly Lucy. The one they dearly love. And all the rest of the old farts. And when their essence travels through the afterlife, they will reach the lake of fire at old music speeds. And while they're down there, G-Eazy will join the real Gucci in the lake of fire, and they will be getting chased by a 12-foot demon that goes by the name of Hector for all eternity. Wow! Get your short bus riding self off my videos. Ha 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 ha. You haven't seen the last of me butternuts. I told you I was messy butter boy.